accountability and transparency, a sentiment echoed by the current administration as well as many members of the legislature. But the one thing that goes hand in hand with accountability is ethics. And according to Shannon Murphy, the Ethics Commission has been on the books for quite some time. The uh, Ethics Commission was on the books from, what, since the 90s? And it, nobody ever set it up. Murphy says the current administration has finally given them the funding needed to get the Ethics Commission up and running, but they've got quite a bit of work to do before they can start taking complaints. I think we're going to be working on our the SOPs because, like, right now we don't even know, like, can if you something happened you think is unethical from five years ago, could you complain or is it only current things that are happening? I mean, there's a lot to decide on and set up. Murphy says she's looking to follow the lead of commissions abroad by bringing the process online. Create a really good website so that you can just go online to the website. This is how all the other ethics commissions in the states are, are doing it and the federal government. You go in there and you can read what the rules are and if you think something is wrong, then you click on that particular thing and then there'll be a form that you fill out and, and submit. On top of getting the commission set up with the SOPs and all the finer details, they're also on the hunt for someone to lead the charge. I'm looking for a management kind of a person, somebody who has like five years experience, preferably a, a you know, definitely a BA, but even a master's degree would be good. Somebody, you know, we want somebody who's uh, recognized as a ethical person that would be a good leader for this. According to Murphy, the commission will be accepting applications for the position of executive director until the 15th of this month, with a starting salary of a little over $70,000. For Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos.